I wanted to make up one a little bit different. Uh, so this time, it's not a dramatic thing. It's really not going to change the process. But this time it's thrown below the horizontal. I'm always going to start with a picture. We've got a rock up high. It is six meters above where it's going to land. For some reason, it's thrown on a downward angle at a speed of three. It's going to follow a weird looking parabola, crash into the ground there, and that's what we're asked for. Since it's similar to the other ones, we're going to end up with a similar process of the other ones. We need to find the components of that initial velocity. We're going to start with the vertical. Since I'm asked for the horizontal as my final thing, we'll start with the vertical to find time. Its displacement is 6 meters, and it fell downward. Gravity's acting on it, pulling downwards at 9.8. We threw it on a funny angle, or the kid threw it on a funny angle. It's a sine relationship again. Three, sine 45 this time. But he threw it downward. Everything's downward. So when I plug it into my equation, I might as well make everything positive. If you went ahead and did everything negative, just like the other questions, it won't matter. We'll agree when we solve for time. But since everything's the same direction, we might as well make life a little bit easier and call everything positive. 3 sine 45 on my calculator, I got 2.12 roughly. So 6 equals 2.12 times t. I'm going to do a step in, uh, step in my head. Half of 9.8 is 4.9 t squared. So in standard form, I get 4.9 t squared plus 212t minus 6 equals 0. I'm a quadratic formula person, so open an app or open a website, punch it into there, or however you want to solve it, but we should agree that delta t is roughly 0 0.91 seconds. Now that we've got the time, now we can plug that into the horizontal. distance in the horizontal is always speed multiplied by time. Again, it's a component thing. It's adjacent to the 45. It didn't change which trig ratios just because it was downhill. Um, the 3 cos 45 this time, it's the same number, the 212, and then multiply that by 0.91. We get that it lands a distance of 1.9 meters sideways from where it started.